Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm going to show you how to install an SSD in a desktop PC. So how do we get started? First, buy your SSD. How do you choose your SSD? Well, if you're on a budget and already have a normal hard disk, you can go for the cheaper ones like uh, Kingston and you can run it simultaneously with your normal hard disk. You just put Windows on the SSD so it will go a lot of faster. But those SSDs are not as fast as the expensive ones and are also not that durable. So if you have uh, more money to spend, you can uh, buy a bigger and better SSD and just only use the SSD so your system will be a lot faster. So I bought this one, one terabyte, the Crucial MX500 solid state drive. Uh, we also need a SATA cable and if you have an older case, you also need the bracket for three and a half inch to install it. But if you don't want to do it, you can use double sided tape to install your SSD. It's not that big of a deal because SSD are not shock sensitive. So if they're not in a cage, that's not a problem. Normal hard disk suffer from this only. So SSD has a lot of more advantages. So let's start and look at the computer. We start by unplugging the computer from the power. Then we look if there are any screws on the case and remove them. And then, if we remove the screws, we can slide open the door to look in the computer. I already insulted SSD in the computer. This is not the important part and every computer is different. The important part is how you connect the cables. That I will show you. Now we take our SATA cable and connect it to the SATA connector on the motherboard. It doesn't matter which one or what side, it all works the same. Now we will connect the SATA cable to our SSD. You take the smallest connector for the SATA cable. Now we look for the SATA power connector coming from your power supply. It looks like this. We take the connector and put it in the largest slot of the SSD. Like this. The SSD is successfully installed. So let's now close the case. Slide the door back in its place. And then put the screws back in place. And we're all done here. So now we've successfully installed our SSD. Now, how we go further? Well, you can choose to go for a fresh install, which I recommend. It will be a lot faster with a fresh install. Or you can choose to clone your existing hard drive to your SSD. But if you start up your computer and go to Windows, you won't see your new SSD. You think 
this method doesn't work. But that's not true, you need to create a partition. Even if you do a fresh install, you also need to create that partition. But it works if you're installing the fresh install, you can look it up, how to install Windows or whatever operating system you need. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. If you have a question, leave a comment. I will gladly help you. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and spread the good word of my channel. Bye.